What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and today I'm really excited because I'm finally launching my Autodesk Revit Intermediate to Advanced Level course. So uh, a little bit more than a year ago I've released my Beginner to Intermediate Level course and it has been really successful, a lot of you liked it really really much. Uh, I think like over a thousand people have now completed that course and I've gotten a tons of good feedback, but also I've got tons of requests for the next course. So for the next like big course where we go from some intermediate level up to advanced level in Revit. And finally, after over eight months of hard work, it's here. The course is released on my website, balkanarctic.com. You can find it both below the video in the link in the description or up in the cards. I'm going to be leaving the link as well. Uh, now this course, uh, I, I had the idea to create this large course. It's uh, over 15 hours long. It's 15 hours and 40 minutes. And I do plan to add more content as I kind of uh, work on it a little bit more. And with your feedback, I'm always trying to improve my courses. Uh, but for now, it's 15 hours and 40 minutes long. Uh, it's divided into 17 chapters uh, and each chapter tackles a, an intermediate to advanced level topic in Revit. Uh, now there is no enforced lecture order. That's something that I uh, really wanted to keep. So. You don't have to follow like go with this lecture first and then with this one and then with this one. I think it's uh, much more powerful to kind of keep your uh, interest peaking uh, by giving you the chance to pick out what you want to learn first. So you can choose, okay, I want to start with perhaps design options. I want to learn how to, uh, how to create multiple design options in a single project file, how to create a presentation for my client, uh, how to pick out the best one, and then how to integrate that in the rest of the process. So we have that chapter and you can start with that if you want. Uh, now, when it comes to these uh, chapters, as I said, design options, is one of them. Uh, we have uh, chapters on phasing. So if you have projects uh, with multiple phases, I'm going to be showing you how to set that up. Or if you have renovation projects, uh, I'm going to be showing you how to actually create a presentation and accumulate all of the data so you know what gets demolished, uh, how much more new material you need, and how to present that all uh, in a very kind of clean and elegant way. Uh, it has for things like uh, display style Elements. So this is a, a tool that looks kind of simple on the surface, but when you dive a little bit deeper into it, it's actually quite a complex tool and you can achieve some really powerful things if you know how to utilize it properly. Uh, I show you how to use filters in Revit. I think that's really important. It's a really powerful feature. I show you groups and assemblies. So that's one of the chapters and I explain the difference between these two. They can get kind of confusing sometimes, uh, but they're very powerful and each of them has uh, its own way of, of being used and applied. So I show you all of that and much, much more. Uh, now uh, you can see uh, the whole presentation on, on my website. I can have a whole paragraph and explanation of each chapter. So as I said, the link is just below uh, the video. So check it out if you're interested also in the, uh, in, in the cards and uh, you can uh, start learning Revit. And also I'd like to hear your feedback, uh, what do you think about this? Uh, and uh, for all of the people that have already bought the beginner to intermediate level course, if you decide to get this course, so the intermediate to advanced level course, because it's kind of a continuation, I'm going to give you a 20% discount. So you just have to contact me through my website, uh, just message me, tell me I want to get the, the next course and I'll generate a discount code for you and I would I'll, I will send you the code so you can uh, get that 20% uh, off uh, because you're kind of continuing uh, your journey and learning. Uh, and also if you're uh, just beginning and you want to get the kind of the beginner to intermediate level course first and then you want to move over to intermediate to advanced level. Uh, well, in that case, uh, if you want to get both of these courses till the end of this week, I'm offering uh, a 20% off on both uh, courses. So as a bundle, uh, I'm going to be leaving that in the link in the description as well. So if you get them both together, you you get like forty dollars off. I think it's a it's a really good kind of good deal. So if you're interested, uh, you can check that out and you can get both of them in that case. 
So yeah, that's that's the course. Uh, as I said, it's up on my website. Please tell me in the comment section below uh, what do you think about the course. Uh, even if you just check out the the page on the website, tell me what do you think about the uh, what's included. Do you think there are some other topics that you would like to see there? Uh, and yeah, so I can know what to do in the future. Uh, and uh, also just to, just to kind of mention uh, some of the topics that are included in the course, like schedules, for example, this is something that they do cover in the beginner to intermediate level course, uh, but I decided to kind of expand that topic a little bit and show you some of the more advanced features inside of schedules, for example. Same thing with topography, walls, stairs, railings, uh, uh, all of those topics. I, I kind of try to push that to the next level and include all of that in this course. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to be, <laughs> I'm going to stop talking now. Uh, so please check out the course. And obviously I'll be back in a couple of days with my next regular tutorial. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.